Priya and this is my partner Ramba and we run this design studio called Studio Neonatic based out of Chennai Egmore and we've been in um, inception since 2018 and as part of the studio we are in we work based on three main principles innovate create and elevate we like to collaborate and we believe that good design comes as a process of collaborating with talented people who think alike and we also believe that right now India has a huge wave of good designers and products in India can be made for the world. Before we used to believe that Indian designs weren't good enough to be kept in the world or anywhere else to be sent out but now it's changed so through design and through curation and creating spaces we want to elevate India's design to the world. We have been uh, working for the last five years together. We started this firm because we shared the same sort of vision and passion for design. So that's when we yeah. got together and we decided to start this studio. We studied undergrad together so we know each other from 2009 now and um, we we were, we spent a brief bit outside India and then came back and reconnected and we decided we'll start this studio together. So uh, workshop from all over the country but we collaborate with them in the design process. In-house in we have about uh, 5 to 10 designers but we also work with designers outside. All in Chennai? All based in Chennai and all over the country. Bombay, Delhi, different parts of the and country. And Ahmedabad. And Ahmedabad, yeah. Target customers is people wanting to have a luxury, luxury residential design. I and mean, something, homes. yeah, and something very unique as well. Yeah. Okay. I'm an architect, so I've always been into the space of artistic uh, expressions and uh, creation. creation. Yes. Mm -hmm. We also work with them to get uh, work with their students, yes. But not an official tie up per se, but we, we work with all design institutes all over the country to get mm -hmm. students to intern with us. And we believe talent can be nurtured through the current generation that's coming out, has a lot to offer. So, yes, we do work with uh, various institutions all over the country. We have our own product line as well. We, yeah. uh, we actually, every couple of months, we actually launch a capsule collection. So, um, we collaborate, like we said, with a lot of these young and upcoming students and uh, design an entire line. Some of our pieces are actually in our show as well today. Yeah. Bespoke design? Yes, yeah. we do. Based on their requirement, we can also look at something for them. Yes. Okay. It's very niche. Yeah. It is not that big at all. It is a small, yeah. It yeah. Is very small. I wouldn't look at them as our competition at all. People who want to import can continue importing, but we want to make uh, the products that are made in India to be on the same part as imported furniture. So we work with designers and we elevate their process and their uh, sense of aesthetics to make sure it is in that standard. So we work with the best of the best and uh, people who come to us don't compare products that they work with uh, our designs to uh, imported pieces or anything of that sort. And yeah. also our designers have a story behind it. Yeah. There is a story, there's a process, there's a lot of uh, local artisans who are involved. So it's not just a product, it's a story when you are picking up something Correct. from us. Correct. Yeah, we, we work with most of the people in the luxury segment. So, yeah. Price range you can tell about it. Price range would depend on the design yes. requirement, but anything 60, 70,000 upwards in terms of furniture, I would say. Okay. Totally depends on material. So, compared with the other products, niche products, what are the major features you just used on these niche products? Okay. Um, if somebody comes to your place yes. and um, they, they wonder where that is from and what is it so unique and it has a story, it becomes a conversation piece. Um, who made it, Why? how is it so unique, those questions that come along with the piece. It's not just another coffee table or it's not just another dining table. It's a, it's a, it's a sculptural statement piece in itself, something that belongs in the museum. So yeah. it has sentiment value also. Absolutely. Yeah. It, can, it could, it could. Something from olden days reinvented in modern times to fit in the cultural context that we are living in today. It could. If a customer wants something, if a client would like something along those lines, um, they have a heirloom piece in their house that they want to reinvent, then we could always work with them to see how it can fit into their space. And we, we are interior designers at the end of the day. So in the context of the whole how, how that will fit in, we can work with them.
Yes, their home to be spoken about, then they should come to us. Yes.